Max Domi is known as the son of former NHL player Ty Domi, a member of the Arizona Coyotes and a type 1 diabetic. I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes when I was 12 years old, and um, so eight years ago now, and I uh, didn't really know a whole lot about it, and uh, I obviously was in the hospital for quite a long time and, and saw a special one, this guy named Bobby Clark, who uh, was this tough guy. He was worth the, worth the cap. Uh, he was the CEO for uh, Philadelphia Flyers, and he was a type 1 too. So, I mean, it's definitely a guy that I looked up to and is a role model in my life as, as a type 1 diabetic and as a hockey player. So I uh, changed my number to 16 and uh, haven't looked back since. Type 1 diabetics are insulin dependent. What that means is the pancreas does not produce enough insulin to regulate blood sugar. To combat that, Max Domi wears an insulin pump on his hip every game and checks it frequently. This is similar to nurse practitioner Pam Akers, whose pump actually went off during the interview. That's a pump beeping. <laughs> That's my pump beeping. Pam explains that having diabetes requires everyday glucose management. She also fills us in on how the insulin pump works. It uses rapid acting insulin. So a little bit of insulin goes in all the time, which is called the basal insulin. And then when you eat carbohydrates or you're going to eat whatever food, then you count the carbohydrates and you put that number in the pump. And then the pump boluses a little bit more insulin to cover for that meal. The, the insulin is kept in this little cylinder here. And the pump is like a little computer, so we set parameters for how much we want the target blood sugar to be and how much the basal rate is and the carb ratio, which is how you dose for your meal time. According to Pam, the life of a diabetic requires diligence. This is a lifestyle that Domi knows all too well. You know what, it's, it's not a whole lot different than other pro athletes because, I mean, pro athletes are different than your average person. I mean, your, your preparation, your, your diet and, and everything along those lines is, is uh, I mean, pretty sharp and, you, and you, there's not a whole lot of room for error. But uh, maybe just a little tighter for me in a sense that there's a couple other things I got to do. But, uh, you know, today it's, it's just part of my lifestyle and haven't changed a whole lot. Domi mentions his diet which Dr. Narula of Banner Health explains is all about balancing your portions. Type 1 diabetes um, sometimes in the beginning may be a bit challenging because it forces you to think about what you're eating. Half of that plate should come from a non-starchy vegetable, a quarter from a lean protein, and that lean protein may be chicken, turkey, fish, etc. And the other quarter is a starch. It's important to keep in mind that those portion sizes grow with more physical activity. Being active is something that Dr. Narula encourages, and Domi embraces the challenges. For the white team, number 16, Max Domi. I usually don't really like to talk about the challenges, to be honest, because, I mean, challenge is whatever you make it out to be. I mean, if, if you look at it as a negative, then it's going to, I mean, impact you in a negative way. But uh, if you spin it into a positive, it's... It's going to do nothing but push you forward. So um, the challenge is usually try and put those into my back pocket and, and make me better in the end of the day. So uh, that's how I look at that stuff. Sporting number 16, you can catch Domi taking the ice and pushing through it all. In Glendale, Allison Cummings, Cronkite News.